What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm always on YouTube. I'm watching tech and car related stuff and I came across this video that caught my attention. I clicked on it real quick and only watched about 10 seconds of it but then I thought hey this would be great content for the channel. I've never seen or heard of this car ever. It's called the Honda Crider? Critter? Sea Rider? I don't even know what it's called. But anyways we're gonna check out that original video that I saw and I'm gonna leave a link for it down below. I I got my desktop chilling here, so let's check out the video. So I don't even know what to call this car. I'm gonna call it the Crider. Title is all new Honda Crider 2021. Perfect sedan. So it says 2021. Usually when a car is released, they like to release it before the year ends. So this is coming out fall, maybe winter 2021, but I don't even think this car, well, I definitely know this car isn't made for the US. So just looking at the thumbnail, to me, it actually looks like a Honda Accord. I'm not gonna lie. I don't usually keep up with the newer models, Hondas or Acuras. From what I've seen on the streets, it looks exactly like you know, a Honda Accord. Uh, from the fog lights to like, see the fog lights? They look just like, they look just like a Honda Accord. Same thing with the, the headlights and this big giant H. Yeah, everything in the front screams in accord. We'll play the video and we'll see the whole car, hopefully. All right, let's check out the video, guys. This guy's looking fresh. See, it looks just like a Civic or an Accord. We got some leather, okay. Yo, I like the dashboard, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that center console, though. In the back seat, LEDs. Yo, does it really do that in the, in the interior? Yo, to me, that's just an Accord. All right, I, I, I gotta see the pictures of Accords after this. Honda Sensing, okay. That's, that's new tech to me. I don't got that shit on my TL. Yeah, everything about this screams Accord. So like, is this just a rebranded Accord? Oh, oh shit. Oh, I thought he was about to do a J-turn. Come on, bro. You gotta do it. Kilometers. Not miles per hour, so... Makes me believe it's not from the US. Alright, that was mad fake, but yeah, whatever. See, the back looks like a Civic, I think. But the front looks like an Accord. You just pull the two fast and furious? Okay. Does that wirelessly charge? It's plugged in, okay. He's like, bitch, get in. Yo, where is that? Yo, that looks mad dope. That's it? Literally looks like an Accord slash Civic to me. I'm, yeah, like, I'm really not sure. Um, the back looks like a Civic. The front looks like an Accord. From the interior, it looks really premium. That's probably the high-end model, the, the, what is it, EXL. I did like the interior dash where it looks like a tablet right in the middle. So any recent Hondas that I've been in, I've only been in a 2019 Honda Accord Sport, I believe. Uh, my brother used to have it. The interior was really nice. He didn't have the EXL, he had the Sport. It felt really premium and I did really like the, the interior, like the seats, it was cloth, but it still felt really good. So I only have that to compare to. I don't remember much about it because it was months and months ago, but from the outside, it looks straight up like a Honda Accord slash Civic. I have one more video that I want to check out, so let's watch it. Hybrid. Yeah, it's always blue. Ah, oh, I don't like the wheels though. Yo, that's sick. I love it when cars do that. A little animation when you first start it up or first step in the car. It has a battery. 1.5 liter dual overhead IV tech. No turbo? I don't think it has a turbo. EV drive mode, okay. Yeah, so hybrid, that means it has a motor slash electric car basically. The headlights are LED, they look sick. So it looks like the electric motor feeds some stuff through the mode, the regular motor. Sport mode, yeah, of course. Honda does have a sport mode for pretty much all the cars they have. Okay, this looks like like a China car only or something. Is this like the China uh, version of an Accord? I don't like the wheels though. The headlights, fire. Interior, fire. That looks dope right there. Okay, so it is a five seater, yeah. Looks like the middle flaps out to be kind of a more, yeah, I don't know, luxurious style heated seats. Dude, my old six has heated seats, come on, man. But it looks like the backrest has it, so that's pretty cool. I'm liking that spoiler, though, it looks dope. What is it, the 09 TSX has something similar to that? Oh, these are renderings, but yeah, they look pretty sick, though. I like the color of the red. Them wheels gotta go. What is it, like 16 inch hubcaps or something? Come on. 
I'm actually really curious about this car, so I'm gonna look up some specs. From the second video, it looks like, you know, it's the normal Honda stuff. So I'm pretty sure in 2020, they do make a hybrid Accord. So it's probably the same technology in the US that they are making it for China, I believe. So yeah, I'm really curious about the specs. So I'm gonna check it out real quick. Okay, so I'm on Wikipedia right now, Honda Rider. That's literally what I typed out. So it is a compact sedan, compact, so that means it's pretty much in the territory of civics in China. Okay, so it's a China car. Confirmed. All right. Introduced in 2013. Wow, I'm mad late to the party. The Crider is designed to fill the gap between Civic and Accord. Okay, so that makes sense because it literally looks like both of them. Sold exclusively in China, although it may be produced for other markets. All right. It basically is a China only car. First gen? Wow. It pretty much looks like an Accord. First generation 2013 to 2018. First impression, it does look like an Accord, but at the same time, it kind of looks like a Toyota Camry from that generation. It looks like a little suspect. Remember these taillights right here? I'm pretty sure Camrys of that year. Very, very similar taillight configuration or shape. And same thing with the headlights over here. 1.8 liter. Ooh, came in manual. 2018 to present. So that's the videos that we saw. Second generation Critter was launched in September 2018. Larger dimensions. Rebadged version called Honda Envix. Never heard of that either. So let's check the specs on that. Honda Crider. 180 turbo. Why do you guys name it 180 if it's not like a 1.8 liter? So the first engine is 1.0 liter petrol. 1.5 liter dual overhead petrols hybrid. CVT? Hate CVTs. It says T, so I assume that 1.0 liter is a uh, turbo, so it has a really small displacement. Okay. Wow, it's actually really underpowered. Probably made more for save on gas. Uh, probably gets crazy miles per gallon. Okay, so I just googled this real quick and I clicked on the first article. Slotting between the smaller Civic and the larger Accord sedans, 1.8 liter Ivy Tech 4 cylinder engine rated for 135 horsepower, 127 foot pounds of torque. Paired with a standard 5 manual, that's what I like to hear, optionally available in 5 speed automatic transmission. That sounds like it's not a lot of horsepower, man. That's like half, literally half the Acura TL. That's really underpowered. That's kind of sad. So from my understanding, they're trying to make a good car for transportation to get good miles per gallon at the same time keeping the cost low. So basically is a Civic in the size of an Accord to have that luxury space. I don't know much about the newest Civic and Accords, so I can't say much on that. Like what comes in the high models, the EX, EXLs, do they come in leather? I'm not even sure about that. But after watching this stuff, after reading this quick article, I have more questions than answers now, so I don't even know. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.